Welcome to Now You're Cooking. I'm Chef Allie and I'm so glad you could join me today. I'm here in the High V Topeka Club Room cooking from our beautiful showroom kitchen provided by Fisher Kitchen and Bath. Last week I showed you a cool technique for making a really uh, flaky pie crust and today I've made one of those up ahead of time and here in my bowl I actually already made up my sunny lemon meringue filling. As you can see I took this bowl and I made a water bath by setting this over a pan of boiling water just cooking this until it got about the consistency of mayonnaise. Now take care not to boil your filling or guess what you're going to get curdled egg filling and that's not what we want. The very last thing I need to add to make this really nice and sunny and bright is my um, lemon zest. And remember in the past I've showed you how it's important just to get the very bright part of the zest, not that white part down in there. That's the pith and that's very, very bitter. We don't need that in our pie filling today. So I'm just going to tap that into my filling and stir that in really quickly. And then we're going to put this right into our pre-baked crust. I bake this at a 450 degree oven to get that nice and golden brown and crispy and then I let it cool completely before I actually put my pie filling in here. Now the next component of this pie is a very important component. It is the meringue. And I have people tell me all the time, Chef Allie, I can't make meringue. It either uh, weeps or it contracts. It's just a struggle, but this is a really great recipe. And by the way, this is available at WIBW.com or you can go to Chef Allie's blogspot.com to get this recipe. But here in my mixer, we're actually going to beat, this is seven egg whites, and we're going to beat these just until they're foamy. It'll just take a second. Low speed. Okay, maybe medium speed. We'll turn that off and we'll lift this back up. And now we want to add our sugar. We're going to give these another beat. This time we're going to beat them not until they're dry, but until they're nice and stiff. So we're going to go to high speed, okay? Here we go. Now we're going to raise this up again. And as you can see, as I'm lifting these up, they're still not quite stiff enough, but we're going to go ahead and add just a pinch of salt. Here's our pure vanilla extract. Okay, and then lastly, this is your secret weapon. This is just a little bit of cornstarch that I cooked down with some boiling water, let it cool completely, and this is what we're going to add to our egg whites that is going to make you the most beautiful meringue that you have ever seen. Mile high meringue. Back in we go, and we're going to beat it again. This time until it's very, very stiff. This is the final beating of our meringue. We don't want to overbeat it because that'll cause us to break our egg whites. Let me see if I can get this bowl loose. Sometimes this is the hardest part. And here's our meringue. We're just going to spread this over the top of our pie. And when you put this on your pie, you're going to think, oh my gosh, that's way much too, meringue, too much meringue for that little pie but you use every last drop of this meringue on your pie because this is gonna give you, like I told you earlier, mile high meringue. And that's what we want on this pie. Now, another secret for this is we're gonna put our, push our meringue past the edge of our crust to the pan. Okay, so go over the top of the edge of your crust and seal this right along the edge of your pan. The other secret is, since this is such a nice thick meringue, we want to put it into just a 350 degree oven and that's going to allow our meringue to cook all the way through without getting too browned on the outside. So we're going to put it in the oven right on the center rack at 350 degrees for probably 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, now once I've got this spread all the way to the edge, then we're going to come here in the middle and we're just going to lift up this center. Kind of make it, give it the appearance of a nice, soft, fluffy cloud. Like that. And then we'll check these edges to see if there's anything hanging down. And into the oven we go. 
Our lemon meringue pie is ready to come out of the oven, but I wanted to show you something. Instead of pulling your pie out of the oven using stiff hot pads like this, which can flop up and ruin either the crust or the meringue on your pie, get some nice, thick, soft tea towels out of your towel drawer. Make for sure they're nice and dry because if these happen to be a little bit damp and you touch your pie in the oven, that can go right through there creating steam and then you're going to get a nice burn on your hands. So nice dry soft tea towels. We're going to come over here, pull your rack out part way like this. See how beautiful our pie is? And then because these are pliable, you can reach right under the edge of that lip of that pie plate and then set your pie right here. Okay, now look how beautiful and tall our meringue still is. It's golden brown. When I jiggle it or when I move my pan, you can see there's just a little bit of jiggle, but that tells me that it's set all the way through. So what we would do is cool this completely. Then when we slice it, we'll have those nice, big, tall pieces of yummy, sunny lemon meringue pie. Look for this recipe at wibw.com or chefallysblogspot.com. And please come and see us here at your hometown Hy-Vee store, better shut my oven, where we make your life easier, healthier, happier. I'm Chef Allie, and remember, now you're cooking.